Hey everyone, in this lesson I'm going to show you the most used filter instead of on one photo raw that you can use on pretty much any photograph and get amazing results. So inside of on one photo raw, let's say we're editing a photograph and we just need our textures and our details to pop within that image. What we're going to do is we're going to use the dynamic contrast filter. You can use it not only to enhance the textures and details, you can also modify the tone and enhance the vibrance to bring out the color within the scene as well. So let's go to the effects tab. We'll add a filter and we'll use dynamic contrast. Within dynamic contrast, if you're just looking to quickly use it and bring out some detail and texture, there's all of these preset styles that you can use. One that works really well that you can also tone down if it comes in a bit too strong is this surreal option. If we click on that, you can see it really enhances that texture and detail within this blade of grass here. And it also brings out a little bit of color and brightens the shadow tones. So with this one filter and this one preset style, you can see it's doing a whole lot to enhance our image. Now, you can also modify it manually if you're looking to bring out different areas of texture within your scene. So when it comes to this dynamic contrast section here, I'm just going to reset all of these. We'll just bring these back to zero. And we'll take a look, take a look at what each of these sliders does. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit into this section here in the middle. Now the small slider is that's going to modify those tiny areas of detail and texture such as we have right in here. I pull up on small, you can see it's really enhancing those smaller areas of detail and bringing out those micro textures. Medium is going to add in a little bit larger of detail and texture. It's going to be these areas of shadows around these water droplets. And then large, that's going to bring out the more of the global contrast within the image, the larger areas of contrast. So let me pull back on the medium here. And as we pull up on large, you can see we're just bringing in a lot more global contrast into the image. Now within the dynamic contrast filter, you can of course modify those textures and details within your image and enhance them. But you can also adjust the tone and the vibrance of your scene as well. So let's say your image is looking a little bit dark in those shadowy tones and you wanna see some of those darker details a bit better. You can head down to this tone section and pull up on the shadows. You can also enhance the color using this vibrant slider. So I'll just pull up on this quite a bit here to enhance that green color within that blade of grass. Now what we can do, is we'll just turn this off and on. And with this one filter, we're really doing a whole lot to enhance the look of our image here. So we have before on the left and then after with just one filter and modifying a few sliders. Another great thing about the dynamic contrast filter and well, any filter or local adjustment inside of on one photo raw is it's easily maskable into any specific area or subject you need it to be applied to. So let's say we just want the dynamic contrast filter applied to our Fox here. We'll go into the effects tab. We'll click add filter. And we'll choose the animal within this apply with mask to section. You can see it's selected the animal there. Now we can just choose dynamic contrast and that will identify the subject and create a mask for us within this dynamic contrast filter. That way it's only applied to the subject that we had selected. So now if I choose surreal here, I turn this off and on, you can see it's only being applied to the Fox within the photograph. So now let's pull up maybe on the shadows a little bit more. Maybe the whites just a hair to make it a bit brighter. And we'll add in a little bit more color. So within this one filter, let's see what it's doing for our subject. We have the original and after. So there you have it. It's that easy to pop the details and textures within your image using the dynamic contrast filter. You can also quickly adjust the tone and the vibrance of your scene or individual subjects as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks using On1 in your editing.